back guys in today's vlog I was doing some research uh, today earlier on the internet to just about um, different CP stuff and I came across some information that really baffled me so today's vlog is entitled the four most insane questions about CP, part one. Uh, the fourth, yes, I have it written down. The fourth most insane question I came across, that we're going to do a countdown. The, the number four is, is it contagious? I, I say no, but, but even asking this question is, and, and, the stupidity, well not the stupidity, but the, the, how do you say it, the, the lack of thinking behind this question is. And, or the, you know, the ignorance surrounding the question is, is contagious as well as the the question itself I'm so freaking normal it's not even funny like I'm a mother I'm a person it's just what it is cerebral palsy is not contagious I actually found out that cerebral palsy is not even a disability Cerebral palsy is a disorder of the brain, actually. And due to this disorder of the brain, we have disabilities that come along with this disorder, like the weakening of the muscles, the whatever else you may have. So I understand the want to know if it's contagious. I, I really do. But... If you were to look at somebody in a wheelchair and automatically assume they have cerebral palsy or it's contagious that you need to stay away from us, that's stupidity. Because if we're around other people and we're contagious, there would be an epidemic or an outbreak or a pandemic or whatever you want to call it. So, no. CP is not contagious, guys. The number three most insane question on our countdown today. Do disabled people in wheelchairs poop and pee themselves if there is no disabled toilet around? Like... Use your brain. We poop in our yard. Duh. No, in all factual actuality, guys, we use catheters or or adult diapers or some way till a handicapped stall is available. Some can use regular stalls. Some of us are able to walk and bear weight on our muscles. Some of us are disorder is more severe than others and we have to use a wheelchair it all just depends on our severity of our disorder um i'm sorry that was number two on our countdown not number three so number three on our countdown today Is does cerebral palsy affect, affect intelligence? It apparently affects some people's intelligence, as you can tell by me answering these questions with my responses. And and you know, just not the sheer stupidity, but the sheer. The sheer incompetentness 
I guess, if that's even a word, of them not thinking before they post this stuff on the internet where other people can see it. And, and I should add in there as a disclaimer, you can't always believe what you read on the internet. Um, but on the more actual basis coming from a person that has cerebral palsy, um, I, it can, it can affect intelligence because it's a disorder of the brain. So it can affect intelligence again. It all depends on the severity of the disorder. Um, there are people that can't talk. There are people that can't walk, can't feed themselves, can't use the bathroom, that drool, that, well, hell, I drool. Who are we kidding? Um, I was one of the more blessed ones and the more, um, more, I was supposed to be one of the ones that couldn't feed themselves, couldn't talk, couldn't, you know, couldn't do all the self-managing care that I do. And here I am today, 26 years later, married with two kids. And I am grateful for that. So the answer to your question is yes. It can affect some people's intelligence. Or potentially affect. And the number one most insane question on today's countdown, you'll never believe it. The number one most insane question on the internet I found today was, are disabled wheelchair people more likely to be pedophiles due to the lack of a sex life because their bodies don't work correctly? Like, what? Like, mind blowing. Seriously? Really? I mean... That's like saying all people are pedophiles because we live, we live in houses. Not all wheelchair people or any of them. I mean, some could be, but who knows. Um, not everybody's a pedophile just because of the lack of sex. A lot of that has to do with their their childhood upbringings and anyone can be a pedophile not just people in wheelchairs people in wheelchairs do have sex I mean how do you think I got two kids there's ways around your body people use your brain before you ask these questions some of these are offensive to us people in wheelchairs. You need to think. That's all I'm saying. All right. Um, stay tuned for part two coming at you soon. I'll see you in the next video. Stay beautiful, guys. Bye.